all John Stewart said was the military got audited and it didn't meet the standards and practices of that audit. And he asked what was going to be done about that. And then Miss Hicks replied, <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, I trouble to think to know if you even know what the word audit means. We're moving on to the Culture Corner segment. We are talking about John Stewart grilling uh, Deputy Defense Secretary Kathleen Hicks. Uh, it's, it was about an hour long interview, and we're not going to play the roughly six minutes that that we're kind of focusing on but we will put a link down in the comments we will put a link down in uh in, in the, the show notes for this page so you can check it out for yourself and we highly encourage you to because if you haven't seen john stewart's little back and forth with kathleen hicks her mannerisms, the way she reacts to an honest critique of her well, job, uh, really tells you all you need to know about these people. And by these people, I mean the smartest people in the room that feel entitled to rule Dang. your life. If I may. You may. Let's report and let them decide. Yeah, I mean, we're going to have to sum up in terms of reporting because, again, really, to do yourself justice on this topic, you should watch the video yourself. I do we not have the video queued up or are we not? We play? do, but I, you'd have to play the whole thing in oh, context yeah, and you would have to yeah. see her okay. reaction. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought we were going to go. Which is why but I just gave that spiel about why I, I wasn't I understand, but I thought to. you had like a little, a little no. snippet. But anyway. I have a six minute clip from an hour and change long interview. So no, we're not playing six it's minutes. It's pretty uncomfortable. It is. I don't know if you like uncomfortable situations in movies. It makes my butt clench. Yeah. It makes my stomach unsettling. It, it makes me want to get anywhere other than there because I, I have a, I put myself in that situation and I never want to be there. So uh, to add on to what Dane was saying is that all, all John Stewart said was the military got audited and it didn't meet the standards and practices of that audit. And he asked what was going to be done about that. And then Miss Hicks replied, <laughs> I, I, I trouble to think to know if you even know what the word audit means. And he goes, I know what audit means. It's like she was already getting defensive. She sat back, smiled, laughed, and then attacked. Yeah. What, what, what does that look like? Which every press... Yeah, I mean interview that we have with uh, what's what's her the, what's the DUI, um, convicted DUI person that's the press secretary oh, uh, for the Jean Pierre or something, Kareen, whatever, whatever the hell her name whatever is, whatever the press secretary is. Yeah, it's every time like they hit her with like just a regular question, like why is Biden not able to talk? And they <laughs> he talks just fine. I don't know if your ears are working, but he talks just fine. It's yeah. like when you're trying to demean somebody, when they hit you with something you can't defend, they you always like go defensive, laugh, and passive aggressively attack their character. Right. And I mean, the reason why this is in the culture corner segment is because part of what we're trying to do with this podcast and what I think there are signs that the culture is moving in this general direction, that direction being that the old way of thinking about government by the majority of the population, right? That the government is, you know, at least it's, it's kind of a necessary evil. They're trying to do their best for us. You know, it's better that they're there than they're not there. Uh, they may not be the best and the brightest, but, you know, they mean well and they're all that trying. kind of stuff. <laughs> um, you know, and, and we, and government is a really beneficial thing for all of us. And what is slowly and sometimes not so slowly, peeling away at that facade and showing the average man and woman that the emperor truly has no clothes and that not only are these people that are running our the collective 330 roughly million American lives that these people lord over, um, is not only are, are the best and the brightest not doing it, but it's actually the worst and most ill-tempered that are doing it. Because, you know, the prime example of, of Kathleen Hicks' behavior uh, in responding to, like David was saying, genuine questions. Last time I checked, Hicks, even though you weren't elected to your position, you work for me. My tax dollars pay your salary. 
So if I have a question, I don't care how insensitive, and John Stewart wasn't. He asked you in, a, in, a, in an honest, respectful way. I don't care how insensitive or insulting the question is. You answer to me because you work for me. And don't forget that. But we always see that from like the likes of Joe Biden that we've talked about on this podcast when he says, huh, what are you going to do with your AR-15 when I have F-15s and bombs? That is fundamentally how these people view you as a citizen. They are there to lord over you. They are not there to rule for you. They are not there to make your life any better. They are not there to make you safer. They are not there to do anything of service to you, despite the fact that the schoolhouse rock version Thank of government tells you that's exactly what they're there for. Yes. So when people like Kathleen Hicks respond and act as she did to Jon Stewart and that clip, keep that in your memory bank for every single time somebody tries to tell you that these people have your best interest in mind or that they're entitled to tell you how to live your life. May I inject a little analogy for the younger viewers of our podcast? Yeah. So, okay, kids. Um, imagine you're walking down the street. You walk by every human. They look human because they're the same size, same shape, and you have to give them their due because they take up the same amount of space as you do. Now imagine you get onto a plane with 200 other people and you take off. Then, as you progress up, you see humans and then they become ants. Then they become microscopic and then they disappear. And then you see cars and they disappear. And then all of a sudden, it's just you 200 people on this plane. And everything below you doesn't really matter. That's kind of what happens when you ascend the totem pole of power. The further you go up, the less humans you see, and the more numbers you see, and the less you are connected to them. That's kind of what happens with this Hicks problem. When you're asking Hicks, where are the trillions of dollars, or billions, I think it's billions, billions right? Yeah. Billions. Where are the $800 billion a year is roughly what the trillions, defense budget is. Damn near is. a trillion. Yep. Where are the billions of dollars that are missing? And they go, what do you care? It's not your business. It's the military. It's like, okay. But it's the military that's funded by us. You understand that, right? And that, I don't think you understand how the military is funded. It's like, well, I don't think we can any longer conversate on this subject because you're clearly not willing to land the fucking plane and come back down to reality with the rest of us that we're just as equal as you are that we pay your bills that we give you the power that you're lording over us so after that being said where's the fucking money hicks when do we start holding these people accountable we can't hold them accountable to hold the other people accountable because God knows they're never going to hold the other people accountable because the people holding the other people accountable are accountable for other things that the other people that are holding accountable are going to hold the other people accountable for. <laughs> David, you're going, you were trending awfully close to Alex Jones territory there. <laughs> He's fucking, the frogs gay! Like, <laughs> God damn it. It's like, <laughs> how do you expect us to take this seriously anymore? Oh, we might, we might be under attack. Yeah, we're under attack by all the people that we trust. How do we, how do you trust any of these people? Well, that we're told to, to trust. Well, yes, we're under attack by them. And if they're willing to attack us, the people that we're supposed to trust, why would we trust anybody else in this world? That's all I got to say. Yeah. And I mean, we're, we're told or, you know, far too many people believe that, you know, terrible regimes that uh, devolved into tyranny and exterminated their own citizens to the tune of millions in the past that, oh, though that just happened at remote times and, and remote places completely separated from America. And America would Five never fall, ago. would never fall in, into that, that sort of tyranny. And, you know, too many people walk around with that naive delusion about government in general, but in the American government in particular. And to that, I say, Look at how Kathleen Hicks reacts to a simple asking of, show me that you're not doing your job incompetently. Now, again, Stuart worded it much more diplomatically and much more kind, kindly than that. I wouldn't have, but, you know, I don't have near the platform John Stewart does, so he's probably better at interviewing people than me. But him simply asking that question 
show me that you're doing your job competently. She got so angry and you could see it in her, how she laughs off and gives him subtle little insults back to his, you know, genuine uh, question is, do you really think that that person with absolute power with that sort of mentality, who is that brittle to any sort of, 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 of criticism to, to her job performance, you think that person's going to be a, a totally judicious, level-headed ruler of humanity if she were to be the empress for a day? Absolutely not. And people like her predominate the upper echelons of government, especially the federal government, because as David's plain analogy was super apt, they are the furthest removed from you and me. You know, your state government for us in Florida and Tallahassee or wherever your state capital is, is much closer to you. Your county is closer than that. Your city is closer than that. Your school board is closer than that. You know, the further away the level of government gets away from you, the more you are insignificant and unviewable to them. They don't even care that you exist. Like David said, you're a number. You're a pawn to be used to expand their power or wealth. So, you know, let's finally, once and for all, if you haven't already, I think the select self-selected group of people that follow this podcast have already reached the conclusion that government is not to be trusted, that they don't have our best interest in mind, and that the people that staff it are the worst that humanity has to offer. But to any extent that you have friends or family member that haven't reached that, ha have not reached that conclusion yet, show them that clip. Ask them if a friend treated them and talked to them the way she responded to John Stewart, if that person would be a friend anymore, and then show that that friend now has control over about $800 billion of assets and is leaving the service personnel that she allegedly cares about to starve on food stamps while she says, what do you care where the money went? And what, and a little caveat that I want to add before we wrap this up is that John Stewart is fucking famous. He he was a comedian before, and then he cut his teeth on The Daily Show, which, while he was on it, was regarded as more real news than the real news. So this dude's plugged in. This dude's an activist. This dude knows, granted, on all subjects, we don't totally agree with him. Well, we meaning certain members of this podcast. He's pretty shitty on guns. Well... There's that. But then <laughs> all the things we can agree with him on. So we can have a beer with him. Anyway, all I'm saying is like, if she's willing to do this to a famous person, a guy that everyone knows his name, yeah. you say John Stewart, everyone, I know, I got him, Daily Show, yeah, yeah. She's willing to downrate him. What do you think she thinks of you out there? Me, dang. We're on the 141st we're higher than that now. Don't sell us Australian short. Australian podcast, political podcast. Okay? 